For Global Medical News Network, this is Miriam Tucker reporting from the 2010 Annual Scientific Sessions of the American Diabetes Association in Orlando, Florida. Which is uh, being produced by Mankind Corporation. It's called AFRESA, A-F-R-E-Z-Z-A. Um, it's a combination of technospheres um, and insulin. Technospheres are a small sphere made up of a chemical compound that has lots and lots of surface area on it and so can carry small molecules like insulin. It's inhaled and because it's fairly small, it gets down into the alveoli very effectively. Um, and then as it reaches the alveolar lining, the insulin separates from the technosphere and is absorbed very effectively in the circulation. In contrast to some of the prior preparations, held insulin that have been tried by several different companies. Um, it, this has much better bioavailability and achieves better insulin levels with smaller amounts of insulin. So the older preparations that were tried by both Novo and Pfizer um, had about 10% bioavailability. This has about 25. Um, it's an effective mealtime insulin. What we found was that there was effectively the same rate of improvement in hemoglobin A1C. These are people who started out with A1s in the mid, mid to upper sevens and dropped by about 0.7% overall. So a, a modest improvement. But the big difference was that the people who achieved this with the inhaled insulin had much less hypoglycemia and much less weight gain than did the people who achieved it using, a, using twice a day combination insulin. So, so our, our feeling, our conclusion from this study was that a Fresa inhaled technosphere insulin really does provide a potential for a, a good addition to our armamentarium and an effective way combined with basal long-acting insulin, an effective way to improve control in people with type 2 diabetes with a lower rate of hypoglycemia and weight gain.